Since the beginning of time, there's always been two game engines, Unity and Unreal. Both have fought violently, but today, we're going to find out which one's the best for you. Hello, I'm Nathan, and I'm going to talk about Unity and Unreal and try to help you decide which one to start off your game dev journey. The debate between which is better, Unity or Unreal, is heavily discussed online, but today I want to talk about your needs and what you're able to create with each separate tool, because at the end of the day, they are tools. And what you want the end product to be can change depending on what tools you use. So today I'm going to talk about the pros and cons of both, and I'm going to try to help you decide which one to start out with. Now I'm going to start with my favorite, which is Unity. I've been using Unity for about eight years now, and the thing I've enjoyed the most is about how lightweight it is. The problem that comes with that with Unity is that a lot of the times things are still in development or in preview mode. And right now they're kind of in this limbo where everything's either outdated and deprecated that, you know, if you use it means you're using an old unsupported version, or if you download something in preview mode, you're kind of putting what could be your livelihood on something that's unstable. Depending on the version of the engine and the pipeline you're using, as well as what you're publishing to, will affect what features are supported in the engine. Because while certain lighting is supported in, for example, PC ports, don't expect all the features to be available if you're working on something with WebGL. I came across this problem when working on a little demo I was doing. I was adding lots of post-processing effects and doing baked lighting and had, you know, god rays and depth of field and all sort of stuff. And it looked really good on my PC, but obviously because it was a showcase, a prototype, I wanted to publish it onto itch.io as a WebGL. My issue was that when I published to WebGL, all the things that made that game look good, which was the post-processing effects, wasn't supported in WebGL at the time. So my game looked a lot worse because of those features that weren't enabled in that build. Now, this also can apply to Unreal, but really I guess what I can say with both of them is that if you have an idea or a certain feature or a list of features you want supported in your game, check that that engine will support it in the platform you want to publish it on because different platforms and different hardware, for example, if you're going to console something like the Switch, I don't know why you're watching this video if you're publishing for Switch because you're way ahead of me, but the best habit for you to start having is to not only watch YouTube videos and read Reddit, but also to read the engine documentation. And that brings up the next pro of Unity, which is the support and learning abilities of the engine. Unity has been out and freely available for people for so many years now that there's a vast number of tutorials and fixes to issues that you may have with the engine on the forums as well. If you're someone starting out in games, I would honestly pick Unity over Unreal. However, if your discipline isn't just the umbrella approach of being a game dev, but you have something a little more specific, whether that's programming, design or art, that's when I might suggest you switch to Unreal depending on what you want to achieve and show with the tools that you have. Unity is great at doing a lot of things at once. The thing I've found that it's best for is people like me who are doing everything. Whether you're working in Photoshop or Blender or you're programming, all these things I've found communicate together really well. Unity's name does make itself known when you're working with all these different formats and you're not needing to worry about exporting them to formats that would fit the engine. Unreal is playing catch up with this, especially with Blender, but for a very long time, you could just make a Blender file and save it in the Unity asset folder and it'd be there and it'd work and you could view it because within the engine, it exports it to FBX, which is a format that it can read, but then you can double click on that in Unity and it opens up in Blender, which for me just saves so much time and the process is a lot faster. But if your system is a low-end laptop, I would definitely suggest going Unity over Unreal because, man, even, even on my rig, Unreal takes a while just to launch a new project. This here is my portable game dev workstation. It's an old Dell laptop and it has Unity on it. This is like a pretty low end laptop, I would say, probably a couple of hundred dollars at most. Um, it's got four gigs of RAM, it's got a low end i5 processor with integrated graphics and it can run Unity, like the most 
recent versions, I brought this into uni and did game projects on it because at times it was faster and easier to work on than the school computers. So if your main workstation is a laptop, then I would suggest Unity because it's a lot more lightweight, it'll launch faster, and you're gonna be spending less time on the waiting screen and more time actually working on what you want to create. I would also like to mention that I made a digital tour for uh, a previous employer of mine on a laptop like this using Unity. It's in browser, it's on WebGL, and it just goes through pretty much like an interactive slideshow of the, the virtual tour of, of the place. So if you're focusing on making a game that's more focused on gameplay and graphics can take a back seat, or you want something that's gonna run a bit faster on your rig, I would suggest going with Unity. If you're new to just making games in general, I'd also suggest just downloading Unity first and doing some tutorials because you're gonna be spending less time waiting on things and being confused by the layout, even though Unity's layout can be quite confusing. In my personal opinion, I think Unity is a great starting place for anyone to learn how to make games. Which leads me on to talk about Unreal, which I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't have as much experience with Unreal um, compared to Unity, but I have been trying to teach myself um, and learn it for the past few years now with the popularity now with real-time rendering and using this software now in film production and, and live events and it's become much more of a corporate thing the support overall and the attention in the public eye especially for developers um, has been much greater as well with that if you are planning to get a job at a AAA studio if you're a designer, if you're an animator, if you're someone who's working with VFX and materials and all the visual aspects of a game engine, I would suggest going more with Unreal if that's where you want your career or your overall hobby to go. From the skybox to displacement maps, Unreal kind of has it all and everything's not always enabled, which is a good thing, but there's usually a checkbox somewhere to help you unlock a new feature within the engine that's that's there it is there anything in preview mode and this is a fantastic thing with unreal for example currently right now the chaos physics system is in a preview mode in unreal with unreal if there's a feature that you want that they're working on but isn't fully supported yet you just can't get it within the engine. It, it, it's not there to begin with. You again, like how you have to get the source code for the engine, you have to get that specific version of the engine that has, for example, the chaos physics system and compile it yourself for it to work. Because it's in a dev preview, you're not gonna get it in a packaged software that's meant to be production ready. And with all of the features of Unreal that are prepared to be used in production, on the documentation, it, it says it in yellow writing. It, it says it, hey, this is good for prototyping and testing it out and letting us know what you think, but don't use this in your game or in your product if you're in actual production. So I really appreciate the way Unreal is made and Epic's done a really good job of having it production ready for studios, um, independent people, and you know more corporate businesses. If you are determined to make a visually pleasing product that's focused on animations and VFX and design and photorealism, I would go with Unreal first. The learning curve is steep, but boy, once you unlock it, you are you're gonna be on fire. If your rig is a mid to low tier machine, I would suggest going with Unity just because of performance. Although if you're doing certain design elements or there are features in Unreal that you really love, then obviously you can scale back the engine to work with your hardware requirements. If you want your tools to communicate well together, so things like Photoshop or Blender, I would suggest going with Unreal because those things are read quite easily within the engine. If you want things to visually look good at the end of the day both engines are going to have what you need however if you're more focused on level design if you want your games to look photorealistic unity can do those things but at the end of the day unreal is probably going to be your safest bet especially with unreal 5 and that creepy magic tech that they have Ugh, it scares me i don't know whether i should believe it or not yet now if you have any questions Comment them down below and I'll do my best to try and answer them, whether it's about the engine or this whole setup I have here. 
And if you're interested in more of these videos, my next one will be why video game graphics suck now. Because let me tell you, they're looking quite vanilla and there's a particular reason why. If you enjoyed this video, please help me just make a community by sharing this video around, uh, whether it's on Discord or Reddit or whatever social you're on. Just like be like, hey, this is a good video. I appreciate this man's work. I try to make production look nice. I have a wonderful editor who makes these rambles look coherent. And I overall just want to build a bit of community about game development and just have little video discussions about certain topics so if that interests you please just hit that subscribe button and share it around because that's how we can grow that's all i have to say so until the next video